for Elvis to park, in case he ever shows up. My dad thought that was funny, so we put that up. Some may think that the straight-talking, roots-rocker John Mellencamp, at 55 years old, might be mellowing. But think again. When we visited Mellencamp at his studio in Belmont, Indiana, he was fresh from a landmark concert at Walter Reed Hospital and was savoring his latest album, Freedom's Road which tackles subjects such as racism and intolerance. We had barely settled in when we got the first glimpse of classic John Mellencamp. Introspective, unruffled, and far from mellow. Well, if I ask you, and I'm about to ask you, to make the statement, this I believe. What do you believe? What's your bedrock? This I believe that we could all do better and that people give up too early. Those are two things that I'm pretty certain of. Most people quit way too early in the race, and most people are not interested, for whatever reason, in doing the best job they possibly can. They want to quit early. And where did you learn this? I guess from my grandfather. Uh, his whole point in life, to me, was always, if you're going to do it, and you tell somebody you're going to do it, you have to do it. I think that's probably what I've taken with me all through life, is being tenacious, and uh, I have always seen myself as Thisipus rolling the rock up the hill, and that's the joy of life. People are here to work, and that's what we've sent here to do, is to work. It's paid with the tolerance. If you had to describe your music, how would you describe it? my music well I would say I would say that it's it's I have always written songs a lot let me let me start this over a lot of people write to their base I've always written to the other side because I live where the other side lives you know this is I am probably the most liberal guy that you're going to talk to but I live in a very conservative place so my goal as a songwriter is to talk to conservatives and, and try to say in a song, <clears throat> this is another way of thinking. This is, perhaps could work better for us. This is, you know, wh whatever the message I'm trying to convey. So I'm always writing to the other side. I'm not writing to my base. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Now you said liberal. Give me your definition of liberal. What do you mean by liberal? I am so liberal that if I said what I really believed, they would probably run me out of the country. Well, let's try it. No, no. <laughs> let's don't. Let's don't say we did. <laughs> well, I'm not going to dwell on this, but when you say you're liberal, you consider yourself uh, slightly left of center, medium left of center, pretty I, far left okay, of center? I am for the common man to the point where I'm not even sure the common man understands how poorly he's been treated and then trampled on. And so I feel like I've got to be the guy in the, in the red state who says, even though they don't want me to say it. You know, you know, I wrote a song called To Washington before the war started, and people went nuts here that I wrote such an awful song about George Bush. And it wasn't an awful song, it was an old song. You know, Woody Guthrie wrote it, and then I kind of updated it People were driving by my house and yelling stuff, and I, I, I was confused. I thought, I'm, I'm trying to say what needs to be said for this area. Because in the song it says, he wants to fight with many, he says it's not for oil. You know, and, and a lot of lines that turned out to be exactly right. Washington. So. I was driving to the airport with my kids, and they played it on the radio, and then they took calls. And this guy calls up, and he goes, I don't know who I hate the most, Saddam Hussein or John Mellencamp. And my kids are little boys, and they go, Dad, they talking about you, about just because of that song? And I said, yeah, well, you stick your neck out, you get it cut off sometimes, I guess, you know, so. 
So, you know, I always try to talk to people who don't, maybe sometimes don't want to be talked to. Anybody who knows your music at all knows your music is a lot about the human spirit. Well, one thing that I'm learning about the human spirit, and as much as I'd like to be positive about it, there's something wrong with it. There's something amiss with it. I'm not sure what it is, but so many times I see people who have the opportunity to do good things, and inevitably they do something bad with it. Um, and I, I see it on personal levels. I see it. I see me do it. I see friends of mine do it. I see public officials do it. And inevitably, will make the smarmy choice. And I, I don't know what that is. And I'm not sure what that is because I want to believe that you know that we're all corrupted by what's around us and that but that when we were born that we're all born pure and and we can make the right choices and uh, we try to make the right choices but you know when I think of you know by the time this war is over it's going to cost a trillion dollars you imagine what we could have done with a trillion dollars if we would have just gone out and tried to do good things with that money across around the world if we'd have gone out and said you know you guys need water we're going to dig water for you Imagine if we'd have done that with that with a trillion dollars. Why do we think, as a as a country, that bullying people is the correct way to to, to deal with our problems? It's never worked.